Joining us right now on uh, Extra Sports 1360 is the winning coach in last night's Aztec basketball game against USC, Mr. Steve Fisher. Coach, how are you? Congratulations on a on a ho hum win last night. That's got to rank right up there with uh, one of the most exciting wins you've ever seen. Uh. Chris and Ben, that was a really, really wonderful win, and I think anybody that was there walked out uh, probably like the players and the coaches exhausted, but if you were a San Diego State fan, you were a smile on your face and very excited. Uh, Two hard-fought, two teams that fought very hard and a dramatic finish, a great comeback by them, and a wonderful ending for us. I don't know if you caught it, uh, what we were talking about right before we brought you on, Coach, but as you said, the fans walked out. Did you notice they didn't rush the court at all? I I like that. I like the fact that you brought the program to a point where even a win over a Pac-12 school like USC, which about four or five years ago would have been cause for everyone to come streaming, that's starting to be expected now from the San Diego State Aztecs, and I think that's a good thing. That's good news. I would agree with you, Ben. Uh... We we walk into our building and expect to win, and that's the way all good teams from a good program should feel. Uh, won't happen every time. This was one that our fans in our building uh, helped create the atmosphere that allowed us to get that victory, and we will need more of the same, same as it continues to go. But you're right. Uh, we should say we felt like we should win. We, this should not be something you go crazy about because – you upset someone. This was a game we thought we should win. I like what Tim Shelton said after the game as well, Coach, and I mentioned it before you came on, but he said this was a game that this particular team needed to win. I, I think that eventually we do have to kind of break free from what happened last year. We will always, always remember last season. It will always be treasured. There's no question about that. But there does come a time when a new team has to kind of create its own new identity and have its own confidence, and I think a win like that is going to be a big one for this young team going forward. I would agree with you, Chris. I I think that this win was significant for so many different reasons. Obviously, we lost a tough game on the road at Baylor, a really good team. We have a stretch of extremely difficult games coming up, and winning has a way of making you believe in yourself a little bit more that sometimes just talking about it and saying you're good it doesn't carry the same weight as when you come away with a victory in a game like we did last night I agree so you really had to be talked into that final play by your assistant coaches that wasn't the original play just having Xavier Thames take it right down the court for an uncontested layup basically (laughs) well I you could have dreamed that up you would have dreamed it up right I mean an uncontested layup you can't coach much better than that you're right, yeah. It, 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 it turned out exactly the way we wanted it to turn out. And I, the, the initial thought, we've got uh, two things that we looked to do. It was a little different wrinkle to get him the ball, uh, but what Dutch and Mark suggested, don't, you know, just do five crack, as we call it. Uh, they didn't have to do a lot of convincing, but had they not said anything, I would have done something a little different. You're right. Coach Steve Fisher and the Aztecs over USC last night, 56-54. And, of course, Coach, I heard you on the postgame interview with Ted Leitner. It's become one of my favorite things now. I mean, I, I, I rush out of the stadium because I want to make sure that I hear your, your postgame visit with Ted. And, and you were a little bit critical of yourself, and I, and I like the accountability of it, saying that they really never should have gotten off a three-point shot for a chance to tie that game, that that was your mistake. Tell us a little bit about the final 10, 15 seconds of that game because you guys are up by three, and I know in talking to you in the past, you don't like to give teams the opportunity to shoot a tying three-pointer. Of course, the shot that Maurice Jones made for USC wasn't just your normal variety everyday three-pointer. It was about a 35-foot bank shot. But nevertheless, you never wanted to let him get that shot off, did you? Well, Chris, what what I was saying to to, – to Ted on the post game show had to do with the end of the first half where oh, okay. I, you know I told him to run out and double and then they wind up scoring a layup and I felt awful that but that was me at the end of the game we had still had two fouls to give before they were into the bonus yeah. uh, Kevin O'Neill is a former pro NBA coach and the NBA people have a knack of being able to make those officials award you a three point shot when you're trying to 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 foul them and 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 have it go out of bounds again. 
So I was worried about that. We fouled him once, and then at the end, uh, we were not going to foul. We weren't going. You know, I, I, I have said often, I never ever want to give a guy a three point shot opportunity to beat us. But in that instance, we were not going to to foul. We were switching everything, and the way he he came off of a screen and shot about a forty footer that banked in. Yeah. Uh, but that was a situation that. You know, he, he made a – that young guy makes tough shots, and he made an incredible shot to tie the game. Coach, March is so far off. We have no idea how this season's going to play out. Uh, you know, you could win the conference tournament. Uh, you know, things could go a different direction. But when you look back, I just can't help but notice that this week, I feel like these three games, a, a quality loss at Baylor, the win over USC, and then whatever happens – on Saturday against what is undoubtedly a very good Long Beach State team that's coming into Vias Arena tomorrow is going to be something that will be talked about if you guys are kind of one of those teams that's up for an at-large berth in March. Do you uh, kind of recognize how important this week is for your team? Every stretch, every game can can be pivotal down the road. I don't think we're thinking about that right now. We're thinking... You know, we we feel fortunate that we came away with a tough, hard-fought victory against a, as good a defensive team as we'll face all season in in Southern Cal. They are very, very well coached at the defensive end and are hard to score on. We are going to be playing a team on Saturday that went to Pittsburgh, as everybody knows, and from start to finish dominated the game. Pittsburgh had won 58 straight non-conference games. This is the same team we opened the season with last year, and it was 42-42 at half. It was tied midway through the second half when James Rahan hit three consecutive three-point plays to give us separation, and the score was not indicative of the closeness of that game. They have everybody back, plus they've added a great junior college player. So we know the, the, the... the difficulties that we're going to be facing on Saturday. So we're our goal is to get ready for this Saturday game, and <laughs> if you find ways to win enough games at the end of the day, uh, it will take care of itself. So every win we can string, especially in these next six or seven, will be significant. How tough is it for you to go with such a short bench right now, Coach? I mean, I know that you're trying to win these games. These games are crucial for you, but – uh, Tim Shelton uh, just giving you an incredible effort last night with 36 minutes and now one day off and then a, a sixth game in a span of what is going to be about 10 days. Uh, I know you'd like to go a little deeper into your bench, use a little more Alec Williams, use a little more LeBradford Franklin right now, but that's just you can't – you got to win the game first and then worry about that secondary, I guess. Everybody has to be ready to play, and – Every game is a different, is a whole, whole different situation. So, what we do, who plays, when they play, can can vary on a heartbeat. You know, Alec Williams started the last two games, and he didn't get in last night. Must be ready on Saturday because we're going to need him. The Bradford has given us great minutes and only played three or four minutes. So they're pivotal to the success of our team this year. And you have to say the most important thing is we win, and I contribute in any way I can. And that's with all of us. And I think that we've done a good job of that. Uh, We are few in numbers, so everybody's got to be ready to play. And when they're they're called to go in, they've got to be ready, willing, and able to perform the right way. Coach, you had a great crowd last night. I know you'll need another great one tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon when Long Beach State comes to town. We appreciate your time uh, today, and uh, go Aztecs. Uh, it should be an interesting one tomorrow. I think it will be. We'll hopefully be able to set the table in a positive light for Rocky Long and our football team as they prepare to play Boise State right after our game, and it would be great to travel over in mass after a great victory against Long Beach to watch our Aztecs uh, go after Boise State in that football game. Yeah, why don't you plan on being our halftime guest tomorrow night, Coach, on the football game. We'll talk about your basketball victory. I'm sure that would be a big thrill for you. You can come on with Ted and I at halftime. That would be great. (laughs) That would be great. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations, man. Great game last night.